Hi there, welcome to Loopy Baby's Closet. My name is Jane. Now today's vlog is not about the top I'm wearing. It's about some jeans I have just made as my role as contributor to the sewing directory and loads of information coming your way, so stay tuned. <laughs> If you just found my channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little bell and then you'll never miss out on any of my vlogs that I bring out if you'd like to follow along with me. Um, so what is Mabel wearing today? Mabel is wearing my recently made Adrienne blouse by the Friday Pattern Company which I've done in this gorgeous paisley jersey and it's going to be one of my favourite long sleeve type of t-shirts definitely. It just got something a little bit extra to it than just a plain long sleeve tee. So, and I've got a vlog for that and I'll pop the card for that if you want to go and watch it. So today's vlog is all about some jeans I'm wearing. Obviously, I'm going to pop some pictures up of me wearing in the garden. Hopefully a little video that I also took on my iPhone just to show what they look like full length of me moving in them. And obviously, I'm going to stand up and show you them too. And I'll show you the pattern first of all. So as I said in the intro, I'm a contributor for the sewing directory it's a great sewing resource online sewing resource there's all sorts on there and every month i choose a pattern and some fabric in conjunction with Hantex, and they send me whatever i choose and then obviously i'm going to sew it and review it and do a blog post so there will be a full blog post as well over at the sewing directory i'll pop the link for that in the box below as with everything i mentioned in today's vlog just if you just press the arrow on the description box and everything will come below there and you should be able to see everything that I've mentioned and all the links. So let's just show you the pattern. So it's the getaway jeans. This is my first pair of proper jeans, I would say. It's the getaway jeans by the Sewing Workshop. Now it's fairly new, fairly new to me company and as I was browsing through the Hantex site, they came up and I just thought they look like a really nice pair of beginner jeans to make. So if you're like me, you never made jeans before, but you fancy having a go, these are brilliant. I'm not just saying that, really simple. I made them in an afternoon, three, four hours maximum. Really lovely uh, afternoon sewing, nothing technical at all. Really, really simple. Instructions really good. So I did... Now, the sizing, they're, they're slim tapered jeans. They've got the fly front zipper, front pockets, and they've got diagonal darts below the zipper. I'll show you them in a minute. They sit at the natural waist, and they've got a back yoke with elastic casing at the back. Ankle length, and then you can roll them up and just wear them as a cuff like I have done. Nice and long though, so you've got the option of just wearing them long or rolled up. Now, the fabric suggestions obviously was denim, stretch denim, stretch wovens, twill corduroy i went for stretch denim and i'll just double check i went with springfield indigo stretch denim fabric and i got two meters of it and it really is a lovely quality denim fabric and obviously i'll put the link link for the fabric as well in the box below and the sizing well because it sits on the natural waist and it's a slim tapered style i didn't want anything that was going to be too loose but obviously i didn't want anything that was too like skinny type of look so I went off the body measurements, so I ended up doing the small, which I had to double check four or five times to make sure I was doing the right size because I've never done anything small. I'm normally medium, medium large. And the jeans, the finished, the finished waist on the jeans came to 31 and a half inch finished measurements. Now I'm a 29 waist, so I thought, well, I'll do the small because I thought if I did the medium, the waist would be 33 and a half, which is going to be too big. I didn't want them slopping about and there's no belt loops to put a belt on as such even though you can wear it with a belt you'll see me wearing it with a belt so I thought right I'll just do the small fingers crossed that I'm gonna they're gonna fit me and the finished hip is 42 I'm a 39 and then obviously the leg length so I went for the small and as I was sewing them I was thinking I really hope these are going to fit me because the front leg is narrower than the back leg. So I just held the front leg against my leg thinking, oh, these are going to end up going to be skinny, but they're not at all. They're absolutely really good fit. And I've never done a sewing workshop pattern before. 
and really pleasantly surprised so that's the getaway jeans and obviously I've done the stretch denim so I'll stand up and show you oh and if you're wondering what the top I'm wearing is it's the Florence top another one of my favorite tops by Merchant and Mills in this gorgeous ditzy print so I'll stand up and show you the close-up of the jeans I've just got a vest on underneath so I just found uh, some buttons that were in my button tin so it has two buttons obviously the button the front and then it has a second one there on the waist and obviously I've got my jean zip my jean zip in the only thing I found when you top stitch in it tells you to top stitch to the mark dots and you can still see I've still got my chalk marks just need to brush those chalk marks off a bit more I stitched my top stitch in to the dot but if you see I've got a little bit of a gap compared to the other side so if I make them again I will continue my top stitching way up way past the dot so you don't have that little bit of a gap but who's going to get that close to see that and then I did my top stitching but I think I think in hindsight it would be my first pair of jeans maybe I should have done my two rows of top stitching slightly wider apart I'm not sure see this is my first attempt and then I lined mine in a little pretty well you can't really see in a pretty floral fabric and it's got a yoke at the back and then you can see you've got the elastic in the this just the back part of the waistband and the yoke and the only thing I'm not too sure of is if you can see I'll just aim the camera down a little bit more you have two darts I suppose for the shaping for the taper shaping and you top stitch the darts now I'm not sure Jury's out on this one whether I like those top stitching darts there I think maybe if I make them again I'll just do the top stitching in maybe a, a matching thread for that area I'm not sure tell me what you think my husband John he thinks it looks good and but my mum thinks it, you, it draws your eye straight away to the inside of your leg when you're wearing them so I'm not sure and then obviously I've got the fly the zip went in like a dream it's also got the the without showing you too much the um the fly flap cover thing whatever you call it and obviously there's the lining for my pocket really simple to put on the zip absolutely a dream to put in I didn't have any head scratching again with this pattern so I'm doing quite well lately no head scratching for me obviously it's got no back pocket so I wouldn't class them as a proper full-on jean as such but they're super comfy and I would call these secret pajama jeans because they've got the stretch in them but they've got the elastic casing at the waist and really are quite flattering I quite think and really comfy and I'll pop obviously some pictures up of me in the garden and you can see what they look like but overall I'm really pleased with them my first pair of jeans I would say proper jeans I made those wide leg pants by peppermint magazines I'll pop the card up for that in the, up there I use some lady McElroy denim for them so they were a type of jean but I wouldn't class them as a jean jean whereas I would say these are and yeah would I make them again yes I'd make them again I'd make them in the same size but maybe try and incorporate some belt loops for maybe adding a belt possibly and possibly not do the top stitching in this on the inside leg in the say in a top stitching color probably do it more the same color as the jean I think I'm not sure tell me what you think and then obviously I ran out of top stitching thread I didn't have quite enough because you also um, meant to top stitch that section as well but I didn't so I just did it in the navy blue no one's gonna know uh, but yeah but yeah overall yes I'd make them again really really comfortable I like the fact that you can turn them up I've got a good turn up on mine 
and the denim does make a difference so it's beautiful quality denim nice dark denim these are going to get a ton of wear most definitely and i've been wearing them all day today and they are super super comfy that elastic at the back i think makes a difference as well and i think they're quite a flattering shape as well and I'd never heard of the sewing workshop before until I was browsing through Hantex. So I've learned, so I found a new pattern company. Let me know if you've used their patterns before and which ones did you go for? And did you find them as easy as I found? I'll show you the, um, obviously it's a paper pattern. And I'll show you the instructions. You only get one sheet, but they're all the instructions you need on the sheet double-sided sheet pattern sheet so there we go so instructions and then on the back but the very thorough the diagrams are spot on and that's all you need you seriously because when i first opened it and i thought oh here we go making some jeans i was quite like nervous my heart was beating a little bit i was feeling a little bit like oh god i hope I'm, i hope i can do these you know obviously because i'm making them on behalf of the sewing directory so i don't want to like make a right mess of them and um i was thinking oh god and you know when i opened up the instructions i thought oh there's not much instructions going on here but literally that's all you need really good instructions and as a beginner jean pattern brilliant i wouldn't just say it if I didn't mean it, but totally really good. So I had a good time making them. So I fancy making another pair, maybe in another pair of stretched denim, but in a different colour, maybe the lighter denim or maybe a coloured denim might be quite nice. So all in all, I really do like them. And I got mine out of two metres of denim, had a little bit left over. So two metres, if you've got some denim hanging around and you fancy having a go at making some jeans, definitely worth a go having a go at this. And you don't have to use stretched denim. It, recommend stretch denim but also just normal denim which may have a completely different effect without the stretching obviously you see the stretch woven so that could be possibly like a gabardine maybe no not a gabardine a bengaline or something like that twill might be quite nice maybe look maybe a little bit more like a chino type of style and corduroy so definitely lots of options there and then obviously for the pocket linings you can just use whatever medium weight lightweight light to mid weight pretty cotton print that you've got for your jean for your pockets you just need a seven inch closed jean zip and then your buttons and then your top stitching thread if you're going to go for a contrasting top stitching thread or you can literally just use the same color thread and the sizes for the pattern if you're wondering start from a size six which is classed as an extra small all the way up to 2xl which is size 22 and the waist measurements are 24 and a half inch waist up to a 37 inch waist but bearing in mind there's elastic casing in the back so i think there could be quite uh, a bit of room there for maneuverability i think and the hips 34 up to 47 and a half inch hips and yeah so that's the getaway jeans and as you can see nice slim tapered look and obviously you can see me wearing them in the garden just for that difference and obviously i worn mine with a belt, without the belt, with a belt on top, just to show you what you can do. And obviously you could wear your top tucked in with them, or you could wear a lot, you know, looser top over like I've got on today. So I think I would give this a 10 out of 10, a thumbs up for this pattern, really good. The fabric is gorgeous too. And for my first pair of jeans, I was really, really impressed. I was quite chuffed with myself. So if you've never made any jeans and you fancy having a go and you've been putting off and putting off like I have, then this is a really good starter pattern. They, I think because there isn't any rivets and there's no back pocket or anything like that to take into account, it's a lot easier to get a pair of jeans made in an afternoon. You don't have to get all the tools and gadgets to put no rivets in and what have you and because there's elastic in the back really nice comfortable fit too so that's it for today's vlog let me know what you think of these jeans is it something that you would make or have you already made them that would be good to know you know you know when you put something on and you know straight away whether they're going to be a winner or not these are definitely going to be a winner for me they're going to get worn all the time and the super comfy which is a bonus isn't it with jeans because not all jeans are super comfy so that's it for today's vlog don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to follow along with everything that I do, all my sewing projects. 
and thumbs up if you've enjoyed this vlog too. I shall see you hopefully on my next sewing vlog. Lots more sewing patterns and gorgeous fabrics coming your way, so stay tuned. But until the next time, thanks for joining me today, as always, and I shall see you on my next sewing vlog. Bye for now.